So the next technological solution is, okay, so how do I actually stream to both YouTube and Twitch? And what I thought of is I could open up on a laptop at my friend's house. And I already have a laptop at his house for video game botting. I can use that same laptop to open up a browser of my Twitch stream. And it's going to see my Twitch stream on that browser. And it's going to screen grab my stream and capture the audio in a copy of OBS that's open on that computer at my friend's house. Then OBS at the friend's house will be connected to my YouTube and it will be streaming a copy of my Twitch stream onto YouTube. So I have OBS on my main computer sitting in front of me at my house. And that's uploading directly to Twitch servers. I'm going to have the computer at my friend's house downloading that stream from Twitch, capturing it, and rebroadcasting it to YouTube. The benefit of doing that at a different IP address, a different internet connection, is it won't mess up my upload and bandwidth limitations for my upload speed. If I were to try to open up a second laptop next to me and get all new webcams for that and create a second broadcast, that would be two streams trying to upload through my cable internet connection at my house. Streaming twice would probably screw up your bandwidth and cause a lot of buffering for your viewers. So that would be unacceptable. So by having somebody else's house downloading the stream and then re-uploading it from a different location, then you're benefiting from no decrease in upload speed. Now, I think you can use a, a service that basically does that for you called Restream.io, but that service doesn't have locations in every major metropolitan area like Twitch. I think it's only located in LA. So if you live in the Midwest or the East Coast or another country, Restream.io is super laggy and, and super slow. And it doesn't really work. So it's really not a service you can use unless if you live in California. And I don't live near California. So that's out for me. So I'm basically creating my own Restream.io website that will rebroadcast my Twitch stream on YouTube. And I'm very excited about it because that's going to help out my YouTube growth a lot. So, it'll be a bit of a pain to set all this up, but I think really worth it because now is the best time to do it because I stream every day now like 10 to 12 hours a day and by having more platforms I'm just guaranteed more viewers so I'm getting more bang for my buck it's just killing two birds with one stone it's a wasted opportunity cost to only stream to one platform if you don't have to it's stupid that's like just cutting cutting my viewership in half right there. Especially if YouTube Live ends up catching or surpassing Twitch. Plus, I mean, I could look into hitbox.com and different ones. It might even be worth going there. Who knows? But I feel like just streaming to more live streaming platforms is a no-brainer. Like, the only reason you wouldn't do it is you're not able to find out a technological solution for how to do it, which I solved that. Or you just don't have time and you can't be bothered. But I'm very motivated to grow my YouTube channel because YouTube has been rewarding my hard work financially. And, I mean, that's very exciting for somebody that's trying to get married and trying to start a family 
and living in his dad's basement. I've got to be able to make a career out of doing the things I enjoy to do because I don't want to get a job 9 to 5. I want to be an entrepreneur. So obviously there's that importance to making money on YouTube. So growing my YouTube is something I'm definitely very motivated to do. So I've got um, Chrome Remote Desktop open on my laptop at my friend's house. He lets me keep it there. He lets me use it there. He knows it's running. Everything's cool. And I'm downloading XSplit now since OBS doesn't work on an older laptop. So I'm going to delete OBS and try XSplit out. Hopefully XSplit will work. Um, English is fine. I like how XSplit does it a lot better than OBS. They are they bundled all the extensions to Windows and you don't have to download them on their respective websites that way. It's doing it all for me. So that's definitely more professional and convenient. And that bodes well for XSplit. Hopefully, XSplit's going to also be easy to use since it's a little better de designed from the download standpoint so far. A little better thought out. Well, I sure hope that XSplit's enough for me. All I'm going to be doing with this XSplit is capturing my Twitch stream, which will be streaming from the browser on this computer. Um, so I'm going to open up Twitch on this laptop. I'm going to use XSplit to capture the stream, including the audio and then upload that to YouTube. 
So it's going to rebroadcast it. Here I am going on to my Twitch account. Testing, testing. Just tell me if you want the music turned up or down. That will help me figure stuff out. <laughs> I'm so stoked I have YouTube Live now. <laughs> this is amazing. I have two viewers right now. I mean, that's like bonus because... I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm used to having viewers on Twitch. I worked for that. I spent a year on that. But these YouTube live viewers, they're just complete bonus. Plus, I added this card in the upper right of the YouTube live that says, um, if you click on it, it says support this streamer or whatever. And you can get donations that way. So who knows? I might get donations at some point. So I'll have two different sites where I can get donations. I mean, it's going to be cool, man. This is good for me, really good.